Grant McNulty is in goal. He played last year, uh, but in the back four, Stephen Beattie wasn't one of those who played, nor was Kevin Kenny Brown, who joined just this season. It's a regular-looking back four for Cork City. Kevin O'Connor at left back, scorer of uh, two goals in the cup run so far. In the midfield, Gary Buckley, Greg Bulger, and Garoud Morrissey, and the three in front, who will follow on the caption. Uh, Carl Shepard, Sean Maguire and Stephen Dooley. Well, Alan Bennett was outstanding last season for Cork in the final, but it's that front three there we just seen again. Shepard, Maguire and Dooley, they are they're, they're, the life and soul of this Cork team. They were devastating in the semi-final, or the quarter-final against Shamrock Rovers, against St. Pat's as well, but they'll, they, they, they'll need to get supply today for to do their job. Well, this Dundalk team, Gary Rogers, you see, restored to the goal after missing out of the semi-final uh, when Gabriel Sava was prepared. But it's a pretty regular-looking Dundalk team. This is uh, the regular formation, the regular personnel. Two of them didn't uh, start in uh, last year, so nine of them have that experience. Stephen O'Donnell, uh, who came on as a sub for the injured Sean Gannon, and Patrick McElhenney, who joined from Derry City this season, but he has played twice in the FA Cup final for Derry City, winning once and losing once. Yeah, no, I think he adds a bit to the team. Darren Min is one that misses out from the forward line. O'Donnell comes into midfield instead of Richie Towell. O'Donnell played a great part when he came on last year. Similar situation where he was injured in the lead-up and the build-up, but he got on early and had a massive influence. But a really, really strong Dundalk team. They have match winners all over the team, sometimes the centre-backs, but it's all set charge. Great opportunity for Cork to get a, to get a win, to get a, to get a trophy, which this team deserves, given the performances in the last three seasons. It's Shepherd over the top for Maguire. Uh, Boyle's gone to take up station in the middle as Gartland comes across. Gartland's challenge has forced Maguire wide all right. But Dundalk under a bit of pressure here until the defensive work by Daryl Horgan concedes the corner. O'Connor, as always, goes to the far side to swing it in with his left boot. And Dundalk deal with it, Shields coming out, Shields gets the touch, takes another fall, another bang of the head, and Chris Shields is down once more, and Daryl Horgan comes away, and O'Donnell chases this. Here we just see it, there's a header away by McMillan, just here as it breaks, look. He jumps over him, he doesn't really make contact with the ball for me. Well, he got away with that. It's a 4 5 1 with Cork now. Sean McGuire very isolated. Not the Cork have the ball to give it to him anyway, but the whole unit, Shepard and Dooley, are back as part of midfield. So they're blocking up all the angles for Dundalk, and they'll that ball was played. Well controlled, beautifully controlled by. Oh! Sean Gannon and Daryl Horgan arrived and very nearly made it into something special. Ronan Finn has won it back, and now it's Horgan, three on three. Horgan on for McMillan, who's onside! A wonderful save by McNulty! David McMillan knows that was the golden opportunity. Mark McNulty pulls off a spectacular save. Yeah, and Hogan played the pass, beautiful pass, good first touch, second touch, tries to drive it through the goalkeeper, wasn't really to either side of him, but it's still a marvellous save by McNulty. Finn is lost out. Shepard was busy, helped on then by Bulger, it's Shepard to cross it. Oh! Gartland had to come to the rescue. See here, but they're, they're winning the ball back. There was pressure under the dark midfielders for a change. Great ball in between the two centre halves. And just as Maguire tried to get there, Gartland gets a header away. They're singing. O'Connor will take the corner kick. Rogers comes. Rogers doesn't get there off the line. Sean Gannon. And somehow then do clear. That screw being turned by Cork. Sean Gannon to the rescue there. It was Bennett that got the header just above Gartland. His movement was very good. He was around at the far post, makes the run across in front of Gartland, and Rogers heads her away. Off it goes then from uh, Dooley. It's Dooley again. Buckley, Maguire, Buckley once more. Morrissey stung the hands of Rogers. Oh, made the second save. Morrissey's shot. 
beaten away, but fairly stung the hands of Gary Rogers. Throw to Cork. Uh, much better from Cork. Nice pass and move around the midfield area. Lovely little one too. And the setup for Morris. He gets the strike away. Straight at Gary Rogers. Doesn't do a great job in it, but he reacts very well to get the vital poke away. Bolter. Dooley. Morrissey. And Maguire. And now Benny's arrived in the middle of Benny! Wonderful save again by Rogers. Oh, that was a glorious chance. Oh, Benny did all he could, but Rogers was magnificent. Oh, a brilliant play by Dundalk. Garland falls over at the end of it and gives McGuire the chance. There's the pass from Arcee. He sees the run. And Benny makes brilliant contact with it. Rogers gets back across from the near post and makes the save. Now Massey. Massey rolled on. Shields. Shields. And that'll roll, and it's gone out for the corner. Good play from Ronan Finn and the build-up ball into Shields. Morrissey did well. Now it's Horgan. Horgan. Killed off! Well, there have been chances. Well, Gray from Horgan here. Sides the rope. Checks inside, dinks her up, hangs her up for Gildorf, and you can almost expect him to get on target. He doesn't, doesn't this time. Just enough for challenge from O'Connor to put him off. Healy started that manoeuvre. It's ended up back with Kenny Brown again. And Brown picks out Healy. And Healy on for Ogbeni. And Ogbeni's cross is deflected. Oh! That was almost an own goal. Ronan Finn now, away from Maguire. Finn found the acceleration. Ronan Finn still. Finn into the danger zone. Oh, it just wouldn't come for them. Cork did just enough. It's Gannon now. Has Dundalk come once more? Mountney killed off, goes in. And the ball goes behind for a goal kick. In the area, little chance to link up with Shields. And. Uh... Killed off. Here's Finn's run, gets in around the back, cuts it back, just doesn't quite fall for a Dundalk player. O'Donnell. Oh, Benny taking it from Horgan. And that's uh, Finn winning it back, dispossessing Maguire. O'Donnell killed off. And back with Horgan. And Horgan. Swings it in, and McNulty has to save it. Very nearly caught him out there. Big save from Mark McNulty. Well, he's probably just a, a yard or two off his line, expecting the cross. A good save in the end. McNulty backtracking. The Shields. Finn. Oh! Inches away. How close was that? Sharp free kick. Cork slow to... Get themselves organised. The challenge coming in was just enough to pull them off slightly, Ron and Finn. One more minute for either of these sides to decide it, or it will be penalties again. The throw from Beatty. Maguire! Oh, he's done it! Sean Maguire gets the goal! 15 seconds into the additional minute. And in the way of these things, in cup ties, the former player comes back to haunt his former club. Well, 28 goals this year, his 29th will be the one that's most celebrated. Out of nothing, the throw in, into the box, just say that. Bobble about, came into his feet, got a little spin and a shot on his left foot. And just no, seemed to creep into the, the far corner. I think that'll be the one that'll win it. Still we play in the 18th minute of the second period of extra time. And Cork City, having got the lead, now have to hang on. Well, I don't know why he's playing on. Maybe it's because of the celebrations after the goal. He feels that there's more than a minute. I think it's the third minute now. Phil Harrington doing his nut down there with the fourth official. John Caulfield not too happy it's still been played on. But he's, he's going to let them take it. They're all in there. Rogers is in there. Everyone's in there. Darrell Horgan, one chance to get it in. So Horgan with the free kick. 
and it's away and it's over and that is surely that referee signals goal kick then signals it's all over and John Caulfield has got his trophy Cork City win the FAI Cup and Sean Maguire is the hero of the day and the hero of the run that brought them to the Aviva and has brought the Irish Daily Mail FAI Cup back to Cork